Yo, Super Fun Force, Ka Captain Gagamesta here, and we got number three of the Galaxy Detectives, Tobots Transforming Robots. We got Speed! This guy is super popular for lots of reasons. I mean, he's obviously super sleek and everything like that, but he is definitely, definitely awesome. So here's the box again. I like how they changed the pose with Tyler King. He got his uh, Galaxy weapon right there. And boom, and boom. All right, well, let's get into this awesome vehicle, guys. All right, it's time for speed, yo. It's time to get some speed action going. And, you know, this is probably the most popular of the Galaxy Detective guys because he's kind of like the young, snazzy, witty, funny, fun-loving, joking guy. They have a lot of that kind of personality in these shows with these uh, toe boss, which is great. And this is Speed, who's the fast of the bunch, like the fastest one, like uh, kind of like witty and stuff like that, fast thinking. So really nice personality, great character to enjoy. And I mean, look at this car, man. It is super sleek. It is definitely hyper exotic car status. I mean, I like how they put so much, you know, um, details into it. I mean, you have the uh, stripes on the wheels. You have this kind of bronzish gold rim right here. And then they even just use the... Um, Silver metal flat pegs, which is fantastic. You got, of course, uh, Speed 01, and you have, you know, P1, I guess, for like Player 1, and even says up here Speed Mini Car Racer. Isn't that incredible? You have the uh, S right there for his name. There's the same thing on the other side. Looks great. And what I like about Tobots, too, is that it's basically like you have what Tyler King has, because this is the same scale when you watch the animation. He has them basically like in this miniature toy form. And then it's when he uses his galaxy weapon and his Toki to basically blow them up into a larger scale. So that's really, really cool. And this guy's pretty well hidden. Oh, and I forgot to mention. Good thing I knocked it off, otherwise I would have forgotten. This piece right here, which also says Young Motor Speed. Really cool. This spoiler, for whatever reason, they uh, allowed you to attach it or detach it which I think it's fine, but there's really no use for it. I mean, it's kind of always going to stay there, but, you know, maybe you can kind of pretend it's a weapon or something like that. But let's get into it. I like the kind of afterburner back here. And, uh, yeah, let's transform this. It looks really, really clean. Oh, I like the translucent headlights. Ba bam Yeah, just a wonderful color scheme, too. Again, very bright and appealing. Now, for this guy, we have... The bird Toki, if you guys remember from my Galaxy Weapon review and my introduction to Tobots video. And this thing too looks, again, pretty nice. Got the same matching color scheme and it is like this fast bird basically. Ba-boom. Looks nice. And then that's it. And then uh, it's like, V victory! And then basically we're just going to take the wings, put them together. It's going to make the key shape like so. And then now let's activate the automatic transformation with him. You definitely want to hold it up a little bit higher because as in shuttle and monster, it's the arm mechanisms that pop out. For this guy, it's the lower body and the legs. And again, now we have the triple team. These are the three original Galaxy Detective Tobots that Tyler starts with. And essentially, we're going to just insert this here. All right, let me uh, kind of hold it from the top a little bit more so you guys can check this out. And then we're going to push it in. Ba-bam! And then just like that, his legs come out. Now, this is interesting when you transform this the thighs have this specific angle they need to be at to transform it. It doesn't, you know, because it can still go a little bit more. Or no, actually, no, okay, never mind. That's simple. Then it locks all the way up. So it, when you put it all the way up, it kind of has that, that angle here. But when we put it to robot mode, we're going to put it down like that. The feet come up pretty simple. Then we're just going to take apart the arms. And then essentially you have these pieces here that go up. And then the front will actually come up and fold back like this. And then we can start, and then, oh yeah, then this will obviously fold back down and make his back. This also will peg in, I believe. Will it peg in? It should peg in, but we're about to find out in just a second. Because now we want to take the arms out. And then we're going to fold the chest forward. And then essentially, yes, we are going to peg this back here. So at the back there is a... Um, an area right there, if you guys can see, and then it's going to peg that into place. Bam! Then we're going to bring up his arms. And now what you want to do with the arms is you want to make sure this kind of folds like that. And then you're going to bring the arms down. 
And then the headlights stay uh, forward, basically, like the uh, shoulders. And then, um, let's do this. Let's actually do that. Ha ha! All right, cool. And then finally, the head comes forward from this piece right here. And then, of course, there's a tab. Booyah! Check it out. We got speed, yo. And this guy looks stylish. He almost looks like a modern fashion dude on the streets with his um, kind of like shorts slash, you know, um, waist pants, I guess you could say here, like armor on his leg with his gloves, you know, and he has like the sneakers, whatever here, and then like his ankles are showing or whatever. He has like the pulled up socks with his shorts. Now the back legs, it's nice because it's dark here, but obviously this is hollow, which is fine. It makes them look thinner, sleeker, and all about speed. And I like how they created this area back here too. It looks really sleek, has a nice shape to it, and bam. You know, so this guy is pretty limited again in articulation. All good. I mean, again, these guys are for uh, transforming and basically displaying and interacting with. And, you know, even though they have somewhat of limited articulation, I mean, these arms are pretty good. You know, this guy has the most uh, limited of the legs, though, because the transformation is part of the automatic. You know, but of course, this still goes this way, as you can see here. Uh, but it's interesting because there's nothing on his knees, right? It's only here at this kind of upper thigh area. But uh, no worries. I mean, he looks great. He almost looks kind of like sporty as well. I mean, he is a, a race car, a competition race car for sure. And now you can see the one here. And all these details pop some more. I mean, I like that smirk on his face too. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. So this guy is super fun. It's great to have the combination of all three now. And as you can see, they look like a wonderful team together for sure. I'll be doing some videos with all of them. And again, a must have. I mean, if you're into exotic cars and stuff like that, this kind of like fantasy take on it is definitely a welcome. And it just has a great color too. You may like it because it's blue. The face sculpt is kind of, you know, anime-ish, comic book, cartoon. Uh, again, it's glossy, masterpiece scale, it's large, and it's just it's just really fun. It's a joy to have and to be able to use in both vehicle mode, put on like city scenes, dioramas, or just display a bunch of vehicles. You know, it really has a pop to it. The colors on all these guys are great all the time. All the time, Tobot, for sure. So there you guys go. Thanks so much for hanging out. Don't forget, keep your faith, say a prayer, spread that love, stay positive, and don't forget to check out 